Hey, how's it going, friends? Thank you for tuning in to VR Revelations. Welcome. It's January 28th, the year of our Lord, 2023. Uh, make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe so you can get notifications when I drop new videos. So let's jump right into it. Um, we know that Zelensky has been having a couple of interviews with Sky News and Recently, he had another one here uh, in which he made some very telling and revealing statements concerning uh, the state of the war right now. Now, of course, uh, Western propaganda, the Western propaganda news media has been pretty much saying that, uh, you know, Ukraine is making a lot of gains, that they're going to go on the offensive pretty soon, that Russia is close to collapse pretty much a whole bunch of false uh, propaganda in order to keep the morale up of Ukraine and the support for the uh, ongoing war amongst the masses in, in the Western countries. And it's working. If, if you ask the average uh, citizen in any of those countries, they'll pretty much parrot everything that uh, the Western media propaganda machine is saying. But we know that when we actually go take a look at the maps, uh, Russia continues to advance and to gain territory. Um, and uh, recently, uh, Zelensky was pretty much uh, putting a whole bun bunch of pressure on the United States and on Germany to send more tanks, saying that time was not on their side. And finally, the United States and Germany, along with uh, Spain, uh, Poland and uh, Greenland, I think, pretty much all uh, gave in to the pressure and they promised to send tanks. The thing is that the German Leopard 2 tanks are going to take about three months to arrive, right? This is, a, this is something that they're not saying in most of the media. Um, I think a lot of people think those tanks are like being sent right now. And actually, they've clearly stated that the Leopard tanks are going to take about three months and the uh, American Abrams tanks are going to take even longer, possibly up to a year, uh, because according to them, uh, these tanks are going to be brand new. Like, they're going to make them, and so it's going to take a while uh, for them to be made, and then they're saying they have to train the Ukrainian soldiers, and then they have to prepare the logistics uh, for when they need to send repair parts over to Ukraine, uh, for whenever the tanks get damaged. So they're saying it's going to take months, uh, months upon months. And the estimate is that it might take up to a year uh, for these American tanks to arrive in Ukraine. So right now, Zelensky and the Ukrainian army is just pretty much sitting there for the next couple of months until the German Leopard 2 tanks uh, arrive and so this is giving Russia a window of opportunity to push forward more aggressively and uh, you know prevent any positioning where the Ukrainians could in the future uh, cause some damage or uh, you know fortify themselves as they wait for these tanks to arrive for a possible offensive which the West keeps talking about which is a, a, a bunch of nonsense pretty much and uh, in this recent uh, Sky News interview, Zelensky, Zelensky said that, as you can see here, um, the arrival of the tanks by August would be too late. So what does that mean? If he's saying that if the tanks don't arrive by August, then it will be too late, that means they're losing, okay? Uh, which is completely contrary to everything coming out of the Western propaganda machine. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So you can see this is from the uh, Eurasian Times. Also, we I do have another article here uh, reporting on this by Pravda uh, RU. Um, but let's go ahead and read this Eurasia Times one. So it says, Ukraine upset with Abrams tanks arrival date. Zelensky says it will be too late if Abrams arrive in August. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Friday that it would be too late if the delivery of the U.S. main battle tank M1 Abrams was delayed until August. There's no way 
they're arriving by August. And before we continue, I actually want to show you uh, John Kirby here uh, pretty much saying what uh, I'm telling you right now. So let's go ahead and listen here. So given that we're procuring new tanks for Ukraine, that's the process by which we're, we're, we're getting these to them, uh, it's going to take many months before the tanks are actually ready to, to be transferred into Ukraine. But we're going to take great advantage of that time by getting the training on, on the... For the yeah, trust me, the Russians are going to take great advantage of that time also. Ukrainians started very soon. Now, the Pentagon is, is working through the timeline on that. I don't have a date ca on the calendar to, to predict when it's going to start, but it's going to start soon, and it's going to take some time as well to learn how to operate these tanks. And notice he said the production of the tanks is going to start soon. So they, ha they haven't even started production yet, right? Now, the German tanks, which are already made, which are being held by Germany and Poland and these other countries that have them, uh are going to take about three months, you know, in order to, I guess, the logistical process of it and sending them over to Ukraine. So just imagine how much longer it's going to take for these M1 Abrams. I think what the United States is trying to do here is they know uh, Ukraine is about to collapse, or rather the Ukraine Ukrainian military. So uh, when it finally does, they want to say, well, you know, we were going to help them, but these tanks take a while to manufacture so unfortunately you know we just couldn't send them on time now they have a whole bunch of these tanks already manufactured but for some reason they're making new ones and it's going to take up to a year now what they could do is uh you know change their decision and send some of those tanks which they already have um which i think they they you know, they might try to do because, again, Zelensky himself is saying that if they don't arrive by August, it will be too late. Thanks, because they are so sophisticated to how to maintain them, to keep them in the field when they break, and also to develop the logistics, the supply chain, as we were talking about earlier, to make sure that the parts can flow. And that's the other thing that the president announced today. We're going to be able to give Ukraine the parts to keep them going, too, because they obviously don't have ability to manufacture that inside Ukraine. And again, the very complex system is going to require quite a bit of maintenance uh, just to help keep them. We've learned that just in our, just in our own army. So there you go. Um, again, it's very interesting, right, that you don't see uh, any of these comments by Zelensky on CNN, NBC, all these uh, pro-Ukrainian uh, news sources. Um, they pretty much ignore this, right? Uh, Zelensky has repeatedly said that they're running out of time. So the article goes on here. On Wednesday, U.S. President Joe Biden announced that the United States would send 31 Abrams tanks to Ukraine. However, U.S. officials said that the delivery of the tanks to Ukraine's battlefields and training would take many months. Certainly not in time for Ukraine's alleged counteroffensive in spring. Yeah, there's no counteroffensive coming, let's be real. Overall, I am grateful to the world for their support of Ukraine. Now, this is Zelensky here. But if we are talking frankly and honestly with you... I think this is one of the first times where Zelensky actually says uh, he's going to talk frankly and honest, honestly with you. So what have they been doing for these last 11 months? Not talking frankly and honestly? <laughs> but if we are talking frankly and honestly with you, the number of tanks and delivery time are of crucial and critical importance. In comparison to the decision that has been made, Zelensky said in an interview with UK broadcaster Sky News, although Western countries pledged to send new weapons to Ukraine, Kyiv is yet to receive these deliveries, the president said, noting that Ukraine needs to receive new weapons as soon as possible. Too late, Zelensky said, commenting on the interviewer's remark, that the delivery of tanks from the U.S. may take until August. It's going to take much longer than that if they're uh, producing them, which they haven't even started to. He specified that the delivery of dates of, of tanks from Europe are still unknown, but the equipment will arrive for sure since the decision has already been made. Uh, there, here's Zelensky again. There is no point in some, in some leading country saying, 
We are giving tanks to Ukraine. We are supporting Ukraine. And here are five tanks. What can we do with these? There aren't enough for our units, Zelensky said, emphasizing that Ukraine needs at least, at least 300 to 500 tanks. I think Germany's sending like 14. The United States is sending another 14. In total, it's got to be like around 50 from all these nations together, which is absolutely pathetic. Uh, you know, if, if they say they're they're all in, you know, for supporting uh, Ukraine. And then on top of that, it's going to take months. So, uh, like, what what good is the promise for? Like, like he's saying, by the time they arrive there, it'll be too late. Uh, Ukraine's allies this week announced an international coalition uh, to supply Kyiv with more weapons, including battle tanks, armored infantry vehicles, and artillery systems. So, anyways, there you have it, guys. Uh, you know, the West keeps saying that uh, Ukraine is doing good, that uh, the fall of Russia is imminent. And then you have Zelensky pretty much contradicting everything, uh, saying that if these tanks don't arrive immediately... Uh, it's going to be too late. Now, if they're winning, why is, it, why is it such a desperate situation in Ukraine? Because they're not winning. Because it's obvious. But the Western propaganda machine uh, wants to make you think otherwise. They know internally, they know this war is pretty much over. They know they can't beat Russia without starting a nuclear conflict. But that was the plan all along, to try and take advantage of Ukraine as long as possible and I think Zelensky is uh, coming to terms with that realization so expect big things here in the next couple of weeks guys and remember the truth is stranger than fiction anyways leave me your thoughts and comments down below as to what you think this means um, what you think the US will do if Zelensky saying it's too late do you think they're gonna send them uh, send some of the supplies they already have. Um, um, interesting. Uh, I'm interested to hear what your opinion on this uh, is. And also remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day and God bless.